Hey guys, it's Brian here at Loon. Right now we're in the main parking lot here at Loon and just behind me, what used to be the Kank 4 lift is now a big hole and a big construction site where Kangamangus 8 chairlift's going in. We've been working on the Kank 8 project for just about two years now, uh, from planning and uh, permitting to uh, digging the first dirt out of the ground here. We're two years deep. This project's been great for me and my team to get involved with. I mean, it's really exciting for us. I mean, it's, uh, it's gonna be a really unique lift on the East Coast, to be first of its kind. Um, I'm really excited about being a, a D-line. Um, Dotmeyer has put a lot of refinements into this new D-line package. Um, it's a lot quieter, a lot smoother ride, um, a lot more maintenance friendly. Considering the year we've all been through, the timing of this project couldn't be better. It's, it's big, it's bold, it's exciting, and it's for the enjoyment of our guests. The Kank 8 project is, is unique in a lot of ways, and one of them is that we have so many different contractors on site because we have Doppelmeyer USA who's responsible for the lift itself and, and building the lift and shipping the parts here and installing the parts. But because of the parking structure, because of some of the facilities that Loon has, some of the power upgrades that we need to do for the lift. We have, right now, I think there's seven or eight different contractors on site. And a lot of that has to do with the timing of all of this. I mean, we have a really, really short construction window to make sure we're on schedule and this lift is operating next year when we open the West Basin ski area here. All of our success depends on each other's success. So Loon, Engelberg, Doppelmeyer, we help each other out. If somebody gets a delivery, maybe another company will unload it, make it happen because November and December, this thing's opening. And if one of us fail, we all fail. So we're not gonna let that happen. So a lot of people have asked us why an eight place chairlift. And I think it's important to understand Boeing's history in the ski industry and understanding that they have a long history of really innovating and installing the newest, latest, greatest technology when it comes to lifts. And this lift is exactly that. It'll be the first east of the Mississippi. It'll be the fastest. It's really the greatest technology that's out there and we wanna be at the forefront and, and we can't be any more excited than we are. A common misconception with the eight place chairlift is that you're doubling the capacity from a four place chairlift. And, and on the surface, that, that makes sense. I mean, you're going from four to eight but that's not the reality here. The reality is we're only increasing the capacity about 20%. And, and how that math works is we're actually decreasing the amount of total chairs on the line. So although we're increasing how many uh, people fit in each chair, we actually have much less chairs. And the real added benefit of that is that you do increase the capacity slightly, but it really spreads out the intervals of people loading and unloading, which just makes a much better guest experience when you're getting off the chairlift and when you're getting on the chairlift. The plan for the, the old Kank Quad is to reinstall it in the Seven Brothers alignment. Um, but right now we're getting together with our lift partner, Dotmeyer, and making a plan to refurbish that lift and get it ready to put it back up. Uh, we want to replace all the wear components. So we're basically dealing with a brand new lift. It's just a lot more sophisticated than just a trip across the parking lot. You know, we want that lift back up and be reliable and a, a great lift for us. You know, we're, we're excited about you know, really going through that lift and, and getting it back up in a, in a perfect state. The Seven Brothers Express Quad is scheduled to be installed in summer 2022. We're real excited about it. It's another great step moving forward here. We gotta wait a little bit uh, so that we have something to operate mountain biking on this summer, but big plans looking forward. You know, I'm excited about new technology. I, I like a challenge. Um, I'm looking forward to some of the new features in that lift. It's got a very sophisticated control system. Um, it's got a tablet that you can take up in the terminal to help you, help you troubleshoot. You know, so you don't have to shout out, down to a guy in the control room to see what it says on the control panel. I mean, there's a lot of fantastic features in that lift. They really put together a, a premium package. We're six weeks into the 27 week schedule here. We got a lot of work done, but we got a lot of work ahead of us. Couldn't be more excited. We got a long way to go, but we got a great team and we're moving along just fine.